there's not right or wrong when setting your white balance as long as you don't leave it in auto. White balance is definitely something that most people underestimate and unless you're shooting in RAW, which means that you can pretty much adjust your white balance in post-productions, you need to understand the importance of this little setting that can make your videos that much better. Let's be honest, we all clicked the little auto white balance button and simply forgot about it. I'm guilty of it too. And sometimes I still do it in situations where I simply don't have the time to set my white balance. And I know the white balance will change throughout the scenes. The problem with this is that we're letting the technology of this camera deciding whether we're shooting a scene warm or cooler, whether our skin tone will look nice or not so nice. And the problem is that the camera is deciding based on its technology, not based on the scene and the mood that we want to recreate within a specific scene. Yes, people can argue that you can simply adjust white balance in post-production. And even though most of the time you can probably do that with a temperature slider or split toning or just some wheels, most of the time it's actually better to nail the white balance in production just because the skin tone it is the hardest part of color grading and you want the skin tones to be perfectly balanced within the mood that you're trying to recreate so nailing white balance within the scene that you're shooting it's much more important than you think and you should not underestimate this. So white balance is based off Kelvin. You have something like a house lamp behind me, it's at 2500 Kelvin and that's very warm. While a key light will be set to daylight like this one, it's 5600 Kelvin, that is daylight temperature. And then you have like a LED light, super high Kelvin, like nine or 10,000, which is true white lights. So the camera white balance, what it does, it understands light and try to have that as wide as possible. So if I would set this camera right now to 2500, which is exactly the light Kelvin behind me, this light behind me will not look warm. It will look white and the whole scene will look very blue. If I adjust it to a very high Kelvin, everything will look super warm and just orange pretty much and unless you just got out of a tanning bed I don't think that's what you're going for with that said you have to find the balance within the lights that you're using and usually auto white balance works okay in exterior daylight situation because there isn't many changes in light you just go from sunlight to clouds and it doesn't it doesn't change that much the Kelvin so for outside situation usually I just keep my camera at 5600 Kelvin which is daylight and that works perfectly because when I shoot a sunrise or a sunset or a daylight bright midday situation my camera recognizes pretty much that sunrise and sunsets are warm and daylight it's nice and beautifully lit. This changes if you're shooting inside a house or in any situation where you have artificial lights like this. I have a key light here and I have some warmer lights to create some contrast here. But if I set my camera to 5600, it's not gonna look as nice as I would want. So for this specific situation, my camera is set to 4500, which is somewhere in between the warm light and the cooler light. This allows the cooler light to look kind of cool and have that little blue tone that I like, while the warm light still to be pretty warm in the background and keep the whole scene a bit more balanced. This is usually the trick that I use when I shoot anything indoor with white balance, especially if I have two contrasty lights, I usually keep the white balance somewhere in between. And as long as my warm lights look warm, my skin tone looks nice, the key lights look a bit cooler, usually that's the way to go. The reality of things is that you have to understand what mood you're going for. For a YouTube setup like this one, you want to keep it clean, you want to keep it nice and contrasty and just create a nice overall mood. But if you're shooting a blue hour scene or if you're shooting a warm sunset scene, you might want to switch up your white balance to a higher or lower Kelvin to enhance the mood that you're capturing. For example, if I'm capturing anything in like a night market, for example, with a lot of LED lights, I will tweak around my white balance so that the LED lights are not gonna look just blue. Because if I keep my white balance at 5600 and a night market with only LED lights, everything will look blue. And we don't want that. So usually I move it up to maybe 6, 6.5, 7,000 Kelvin. And usually that makes these LED lights a little bit warmer and the skin tone overall a lot better. Contrarily, if we're shooting a sunset on a sunrise and I don't want like a specific 
very intense warm tone i would put the white balance down to maybe 3500 or 4000 just to keep the skin tone more beautiful and more soft and nicer and realistic so it's all about what kind of mood you want to go for you could always shoot a midday with a super high white balance and create almost a sunset scene with a midday but just be careful because whenever you don't use artificial light your skin tone will look a lot weird and this is why i keep 5600 as a rule of thumb whenever i shoot outside on a run and gun situation just to keep my skin tones nice and clean with that said thank you guys for sticking around leave a like subscribe i hope this video helped and i'll see you in the next one